What's up, best friends? It's your girl, Danielle, and I'm in Paris! Yeah, so, as you've seen, we went from London to Paris, and now we're out here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it's us again. Room tour, it's your clip now. Okay, so there's gonna be no room tour. Something happened at night, but I'm not gonna get into that. Right now, I'm here to guide you through the video, so let's just get started. Since we arrived at our place pretty late at night, we just went around the area and did some grocery shopping. Victoria whipped up some dinner for us and we just stayed home and planned what we were gonna do for the following day. During our downtime throughout our trip, we've been watching the ultimatum, so we just continued watching the show. Now, in the middle of the night, we had an issue in regards to our Airbnb. We ended up pulling an all-nighter and falling asleep at around 6 a.m., like around then. We contacted the Airbnb host, and he told us he was going to meet and investigate the issue at 2 p.m. This incident kind of ruined the plans that we had for this following day, but we still had to make the best of it. Don't record my banana. How dare you weaponize my food <laughs> against me? We started the morning off by heading over to Luxembourg Garden, which was somewhat near our area. We explored the area, which was peaceful compared to our night. Walking around and exploring the foreign area will always be fun for me. We stopped at a place called Columbus to get some goodies, which we all shared. On our way back, we passed by St. Chapelle. We also made sure to stop by the train station to organize our next travel day and to buy some bus tickets. We wanted to make sure our Airbnb host would actually show up at 2 p.m. to investigate the situation, which he did, and thankfully the issue was solved because a girl like me was not ready to move again. Mm -mm -mm. For the night, we walked over to the Seine River. We planned on meeting one of Elena's friends from her student exchange program she did a while back. We met with Sarah at Le Nance, Le Nance and had some drinks and shared a charcuterie board. But, um, so, but then it says like for the train... Now this is where the vlog truly starts since those two first days was impacted by travel and the Airbnb incident that we had. I'll stay here to guide the video, but I don't need to be here anymore. We made our way to the Gallery Lafayette, which is a huge area with multiple different shops and stores. Let's just say I felt some sort of way by wearing my ripped jeans in this area because it was giving high class, it was giving fancy. Once we reached the very top, we got to see this amazing view of the whole city, which even showcased the Eiffel Tower in the distance. After our little stay there, we decided to walk over to see the Eiffel Tower in person. We ended up at Champ de Mars, which is a park that the Eiffel Tower is located in. We made our way to the whole other side of the park. We wanted to have a picnic, so we grabbed some sandwiches, made our way back to the Eiffel Tower, sat down and enjoyed.
after our picnic, we wanted to see the lit and ballet. We booked our time at the catacombs later in the afternoon, so we started heading our way there right after. But since we got to that side of the city quite early, we went to McDonald's because they need to use washroom. But also, I wanted to see what McDonald's was offering that we didn't have back in Canada. So I ended up buying this McFlurry. Yes, don't judge me. Please don't judge me and I won't judge you. Once it was time to go to the catacombs, we headed over, scanned our tickets, and started heading down. Now, this place said no filming. So that's exactly what I did, trust me. I'm not about to film no bones. I'm not trying to do no, mm -mm. I'm not trying to have spirits follow my camera. Right after we headed over to the gift shop, honestly, this is just full on browsing. We were not gonna buy anything. <laughs> Since it was the first semi-final for the Eurovision contest, we headed back to our place, did a little grocery shopping so we can make our own charcuterie board, and we watched the first semi-final of Eurovision. Now, throughout this whole Eurovision week, I was cheering for my top 10, which means in this semi-final, I was cheering for Slovenia, Portugal and Ukraine and now that Eurovision has already ended I can do some spoiler alerts the fact that Slovenia came in last place let's not talk about that we started our morning by walking over to the Sacred Prayer which is this huge beautiful building we explored inside the building and enjoyed our time Right after, we grabbed some gelato and did some grocery shopping for the picnic that we were going to have at the Palace of Versailles. We hopped on a train that took us to the Palace of Versailles in about an hour. Don't play with me. Once we got inside the Palace of Versailles, we decided to buy some macaroons right away. Then we explored the palace. This palace was huge and was filled with beautiful art and artifacts, statues, all the good stuff. Once we were done exploring the inside of the palace, we wanted to have some lunch. So we found a bench that was under some shade and we made some sandwiches based off the ingredients that we already bought from the marketplace. And we also had our macaroons. <laughs> we made our way to the Grand Tryon 
which is a building deeper into the gardens behind the palace of versailles this area was really beautiful Once we were done and we were making our way back to the exits, we decided to sit and chill on some grass where my nose bled. Wow. Once we got back to Paris, it was time for us to have dinner and we had some ideas in mind. It was time for us to try some snails. Okay guys, we're gonna try snails right now. Are we, are we ready? Yeah. No, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. We're excited, okay. Yeah. Ouch, oh, oh, I burned myself. It's hot? Yeah, don't touch it. Show the camera. Ooh. Are we gonna eat it without the bread? Or are you doing the bread? No, wait, she said bread. That's true. I'm just gonna, no, I wanna get the full experience while so bite into the bread after. Yeah. Three, Three two, it's, a, it's a muscle. It's a muscle. Three, two, one. It's not bad. Why is it fire? It's really good. Sorry, wait, say that again. I actually really, really, really like it. It's really good. It is good. It tastes like it tastes like a muscle. Okay, guys, you heard it here first. Snail's not that bad. At least from here, Cafe Michel in Paris. Yeah, you should come here. Ten out of ten. Okay. Also, the lady here is really nice. Yeah, she helped us. After dinner, we wanted to head back to the Eiffel Tower because it sparkles at night. So we waited. There's also somewhere where you might have some oh, you're right <laughs> underneath the Eiffel Tower, so we also did that as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It's free and it helps me out a lot. There's currently two videos on the screen right now, my last video and a random video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. There's more vlogs coming up. But for now, I'll see you guys later.